Hello and welcome to Pursuit of Perfect System. My name is Terry Ellis. I'm an audio reviewer and a Dirac Live calibrator. In this video, I'm doing the review for the YBA Heritage A200 integrated amplifier, which also features an internal DAC. YBA are a French hi-fi manufacturer with a long history and heritage, I think, hence the name. The company was formed in 1981. 1981 was a big year for births for the hi-fi industry because it was also the year that I was born. So that makes YBA and myself 25 years old. The YBA Heritage product line is the company's entry level range of products and the range consists of two different integrated amplifiers, a CD player, a phono stage and a standalone DAC. The A200 is the more powerful of the two integrated amplifiers and it has a very nice specification for its price tag. Let's start with the price tag, it costs £1,850. So for under £2,000 you get the trademark YBA chassis and look and build Quality. The finishes available are either silver or black and I actually really like the silver I think it works really well and it looks particularly nice sat on a hi-fi rack. Going inside the A200 is a nice experience. The internals are nicely laid out and the construction of the amplifier is very impressive. The specification is also very impressive. The amplifier is capable of 110 watts of power per channel at eight ohms and 165 watts of channel at four ohms. The amplifier weighs just under 10 kilograms, which is a reassuring sign of its substantial build quality. On the rear, things are nice as well. There is a plethora of RCA inputs, balanced inputs. There is an optical and a USB type C input. You'll also see a Bluetooth module because the A200 supports aptx and aptx hd bluetooth codex the internal dac of the a200 supports pcm files up to 384 kilobytes and also 32-bit 512 dsd files via the usb connection hold on there was even more good news the a200 has a home fit bypass and it also has pre-outs if you're interested in connecting this to an additional amplifier or powered speakers or anything that you might want to however if you only want to use the a200 as an integrated amplifier you have an option which i really like you have the option to completely disable the digital section literally by clicking literally by clicking the power switch on or off but make sure the amplifier is off before you make that change moving back to the front of the amplifier the power button is in a way quite cleverly hidden underneath the left side of the amplifier which gives it a lovely clean front look obviously we have our two selector dials source on the left and volume on the right both of them have a nice resistance to their movement again they feel reassuringly well built and built to last. Quite interestingly, the selector for volume, because it's so small and because the amplifier has such a large volume range, it can take quite a lot of turns off the volume dial to get it from a low to a high volume. Fortunately, YBA counteract this by allowing you to set a specified turn on volume using the included remote control. The display on the front of the A200 is bright, it's clear, it's absolutely perfect at this price point. There's even more good news on the underneath of the A200 amplifier. It has the trademark YBA triangle of three isolation feet orientation. Two of these feet being designed to dampen vibrations with the third making contact with a metal bearing to act as a vanishing point. So I'm sure you will agree that is a lot of attentions to detail for an amplifier in the sub 2K category. But hold on, I have even more good news. YBA include incredible quality remote controls with their Hi-Fi electronics. Some of the best remote controls that I've seen included 
so far. So of all this good news, does that justify the mantle of the YBA A200 being the best integrated amplifier below £2,000? Well, of course not. It has to sound good as well. And guess what? There's even more good news when it comes to sound quality. Now I can see a lot of audio files being totally smitten with the sound from the Heritage A200. The amplifier has a good amount of power and authority to its sound. With the standout sonic trait being the lush and sweet and detailed mid-range. Vocals are extremely sweet, sounding smooth and very easy to listen to. There is a very nice amount of drive and rhythm to the music. And the amplifier's timing is very good at this price point. The treble is equally clean, smooth and easy going. Bass has a solid quality to it with plenty of oomph and punch with a good amount of detail. Overall, the sound is on the warmer side of neutral, being led by that lush and sweet mid-range. Being overly critical, the bass can come over a little heavy and the soundstage could be more open and well-defined. But that's comparing the A200 to amplifiers costing significantly more. In fact, I feel the A200 could hold its own with more expensive amplifiers, such as the entry levels from Luxman, which probably have a bit more spice and a bit more drive to the music, but they also cost nearly double. So really, that's high, high praise for the YBA A200. It really is a bit of a bargain, you know, of great value for money and a big bang for buck product. Using the internal DAC over Bluetooth was quite a surprise to me actually. It sounded very good and I could see myself using that as a convenience feature. The internal DAC also sounds very good. It's not at the level of good quality external DACs, but it's still more than usable and still very enjoyable to listen to. If you're in the UK, there is even more good news because YBA have excellent distribution from the company Harmony Hi-Fi. So it should be quite easy for you to find a local dealer who can provide you with a demonstration of the YBA products. While we're on that topic, I want to thank Nintronics, the excellent Hi-Fi and AV dealership in Hertfordshire for loaning me this YBA sample for the review. So my final thoughts, is the YBA good enough to deserve the mantle of best amplifier under 2000 pounds? Well, being honest, that's a really difficult one for me to answer because I haven't listened to every single amplifier that costs under £2,000. But I personally think the YBA Heritage A200 does more than enough to challenge for that title. I think as a product, it's going to tick a lot of the important boxes for lots of different audio files because it's so well built, well equipped and has a lot of power. It's smooth and lush sound, I think will make it very easy to integrate into lots of different hi-fi setups. And if the audio file box is clever and uses it with speakers that are on the forward side of neutral and that major on detail, resolution and sound stage, the overall balance of that system I think will turn out perfect. All of that functionality, build quality and the three year warranty adds up to an overall fantastic package hope you've enjoyed this review please hit that thumbs up like button if you enjoyed it make sure you go and visit our website there's been a lot of work and development going on on the website make sure to go and visit that make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already and hit that notification bell so that you get a nudge every time we create a new video hope you've enjoyed this one i'll see you in the next one take care